Hi, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And if you've seen my braced tilt videos, braced tilt part two, uh, tilted spiral part one, two, and three, uh, tilted twirl, you understand that we need a certain amount of tilt to deliver the action to the target. That's clear. You also understand that you need to be braced properly because if you have the tilt and your weight's on the right side and you swing the arms toward the target, there's nothing to hold you in place on the way through. So we take the tilt and we brace it against the front side. Right. Now, many of you, and this is, you know, this is only my way of getting better at bringing you the information. You know, a lot of us guys, a lot of us pros have a lot of um, natural ability to get the ball out there and we, you know, we do this without thinking and, and it sometimes comes across as, um, you know, as, how does he do that? Um, for many of you who don't have the feel yet, it's very elusive. So this video is really important to allow you guys to get the feel. And a lot of good players out there still don't have this particular sensation because they're trying to avoid the stuff that we hear in the golf industry every day, the fear mongers that tell us, watch out for that reverse pivot and be careful that you, you don't you know, ruin this position or that position. The, the awareness that I'm going to show you will eliminate all that. You've got to listen to, you're the, the most amazing creature on this planet. You are the foremost expert in gravity and you've got to listen to how you've been programmed. Stop listening to perceptions and, and, and opinions and all that stuff, okay? So I'm going to be reorganizing a lot of my videos saying, well, this is just for your understanding and this is what you need to feel. This is what you need to feel. Okay, so let's get to it. We have a door frame, right? Extend the door frame straight up from uh, this see no evil unit, which I really enjoy using, by the way. My ball is right up against that unit. And what I want you to feel when you get braced and tilted at a dress, what you're basically doing is getting ready to swing in the direction of the target with authority, right? We're taking this arm club unit and we're delivering the action of the swing towards the target. So, I have my ball, which is like a head of a nail bracing against, so now I'm gonna brace everything against this door frame. Does it feel like I can squeeze the ball against the door frame with the weight of the hammer? Yes. No. So if you overdo the tilt, you'll feel more weight off this back foot and you won't feel close enough to that front foot, to that front pressure, and therefore, the low point of the swing right now at address is here. You don't want that. You wanna feel that the low point of the swing, the low point of the arc is gonna be right here underneath the door frame. Check out Stop Topping and Take Better Divots, part one and two. Great little video there to get you into that frame of mind, all right? So, if I'm playing my little draw, play the ball back, Get behind the ball. This is overly behind the ball, off balance on the right side. Low point feels behind the ball. This is just enough behind the ball where it feels like, wow, the low point is right in front of the ball and it feels like I can really pin the, the, the nail into that door frame with lots of weight. Now, if I get in front of the ball, whoops. Now it feels like it's gonna be pulling to the left of the door frame. And if the face stays open, it feels like I have to reach back. So right now, I don't feel like I got mass going into the back of that ball. It feels like I have to reach back. The whole mass of my body is now in front of the ball and it doesn't feel like I can use weight to pin it down. So you'll feel it when you're too far in front of the ball. So right here, left cheek behind the ball, braced, 60% of your weight, we'll, we'll, we'll clear this up right now, you need to feel more weight on the front leg. Jack did this, I know that you've heard stack and tilt do that, this is not stack and tilt, not by any stretch of the imagination, all right? They, they've got a completely different system with positional stuff still going on, I, I don't believe in that positional stuff, 
they have some good nuggets, but to, to decipher those is very difficult. So I'm bracing against my forward side. I feel like I can really pin that nail into the door frame. I take my backswing. Still feels like the low points in front of the ball. This will prevent me from swaying. Still feels like the low points in front of the ball. No longer feels like the low points in front of the ball. Still does. Now from there, feels like I can use the weight of the hammer to pin that ball into the door frame. So what keeps me up against the door frame is the pressure staying inside the right foot. You don't have to think about that. Just focus on keeping the low point in front of the ball while keeping your head behind it. Got it. Got it. Feels like I'm really nicely braced. The front leg, you know, the weight staying inside, inside the, the front foot keeps the head from moving forward. So it feels like I can really pin that nail into the door frame. The other thing that's gonna keep you in the shot is the fact that you're swinging to a specific target or the fact that you're staying behind the door frame, one of the two, okay? They kind of go together because on your way to the target, you're anticipating a collision down here, 2,000 to 3,000 pounds of pressure. So, it feels like we're there, we're there. I can just pound through there with some nice weight. And you notice how my front foot never spins out. Why? Because there's enough pressure on it. If I set up 55, 45, a little bit too much weight on my back foot, still on the inside of my back foot, I'm very balanced, this great position here. You'll see a lot of great players in that position. And then they start toward the target. See how the weight's still there, right? But they have the ability to get through the ball. Notice that little, right, lean back. Or you'll see a little spin out here of that front foot because there's not enough weight on that front foot to stabilize it. So, yeah, you're gonna hit some amazing shots, right? A lot of different ways to get that ball out towards the target. You see it every day on the PGA Tour. What's the most eff efficient way of doing that? What's gonna keep you in there all the time? Really feel that nice brace. Now, the fact that you start 60% here doesn't mean you stay there. It feels that way. For a lot of you, you're trying to keep the weight there and that's, where, that's what's gonna to tend to throw you off balance into a, a reverse pivot. If you keep the low point in play and you allow the backswing to get you know, into a great position to feel weight. The body gets out of the way, the weight of the arms gets pulled inside the right foot. Right now, my left foot feels very light. Even though I stayed with it, I can still lift the heel, notice that? Because at this point, it feels very light and, and the weight won't stay there because my body's immediately getting ready to swing towards the target. Notice how the weight came right back in here. So you will feel a little buoyancy in that left leg going back, that's fine. Don't try to keep it there. For a lot of you, we put more weight on the front side and you, you think, oh my, I have, to, I have to keep it there now. So now you try and keep it there and it feels like your backswing is restricted. You really don't wanna feel any restriction in that backswing. It has to feel like you can really get the range of motion you need to pummel effortlessly through that ball, okay? So, I hope that this clears up a few of the misconceptions that you've had in the, in the tilt. So we don't wanna over tilt, we'd be off balance off the back foot. We brace against the front foot, 60-40, head still back, feels like you can really pin that sucker against the door frame, but this is not a reverse pivot. Allow the body to now get out of the way in both directions. Out of the way, out of the way. And it should feel like it's so easy to, to produce some nice momentum, okay? Got my fairway wood, because I know a lot of you will ask me, well, what do I do with my hybrids and my fairway woods? It's a much wider club. The center of gravity of that club's in the center of the club head. So we want Brace against the forward side, if I allow the hammer 
to come down and pin this ball against the door frame. Does it feel like the club can square itself up? If you play the ball too far back, you'll feel like the ball's going to tend to squirt to the right. Don't want that. If you play it too far forward, you'll feel like you're going to hit the ground before the ball. No good. The lowest point of the arc of the swing with the fairway wood is here. Not as profound as the divot, but you'll be brushing a little bit of grass. So the low point of the swing is still nice and circular. It's not flat. The grass gives a little bit as you swing through it. So it does feel like the low point of the swing's in front. So braced against the forward side. 60, 40. Feel the weight of the hammer. Boom. Now, the driver. You put the ball on the tee. That ball is in the air. There are two ways you can go about it. Now, if you had a fairway wood, you notice how that's got a very, very low center of gravity, a very shallow face. You would have to hover that club in the air. Does it still feel like the low point is there? Yes. Does it feel like I can catch just barely the tip of the tee with the bottom of the club? Yes, it does. So I can go ahead and hit a nice fairway wood here towards my target. <laughs> Don't want to skull that sucker or um, pop fly that. Let's do that again. Keep the low point in front of the ball, feel the weight, deliver to the target. Where's my target? Yes. K the keep out sign. Boom. So notice how nice and stable that front foot was. Got something nice and solid to pin the ball against. When you got the driver, now we've got that nice high T. Yes, but we also have a very deep face. I want to feel like I'm going to catch the tip of the tee on the way up. Now, still want 60-40 because I'm still throwing the club in that direction. From here, I can't do it. Still going to have that spin out. This little, uh, this little front foot that's a little bit unstable will tend to pull the club a little bit offline. We need that stability. So I'm bracing against the forward side, 60-40. Does it feel like the tip of the T is in the way of me delivering to the K? Yes, it does. Deliver to the K of the keep out. Here we go. Boom. Feels extremely solid and very um, stable, very stable. Because I'm getting ready to throw the club in that direction, I've got a picture, whether it's a fade or a draw, Brace against my forward side, start at a little left of the keep out, fade it back to the keep out. There's the tip of the tee in the way of that. Yes, it is. Feel the weight. 60-40. Boom. See how nice and stable that was? So, it's the same thing, except now we're placing the ball in a position that you were going to catch it on the way up with the driver, still slightly on the way down with the fairway wood, and definitely on the way down with the irons, okay? So, hope you enjoyed that. We'll talk to you later.